Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat a, an out-of-date cheese roll. Now, this was actually dated the... Um, now, to be honest, it was a pack of four. I, I, you'll have to take my word for a lot of what I'm saying because I could have cheated, bought a brand new one and put it into an old packet, but I haven't done it. You'll just have to take my word for it. I was too hungry over the last few days to actually open the packet on camera because I actually um, just want to have something quickly before worrying about cameras and stuff. So anyway, you can see there, it's dated the 11th of December. It is currently the 14th of December, early in the morning. Um, there's a news story on BBC News which says, Monster Iceberg just shy of a trillion tons. I could not have seen that article a few days ago. Also, um, Rishi Sunak recently has um, managed to get his um, first, what, an early stage of the Rwanda bill through the, the Commons. I couldn't have known that on the 11th. So, there you go. Anyway, I'm not going to waste any more time, so I'm going to get this out. Now, this is what is called a cheese roll. Now, it's not um, a roll completely made of cheese. It is, in reality, a bread roll with pieces of cheese in it. But the cheese is actually baked into the bread itself. So if you look <coughs> there, for example, um, you'll see there a bit of cheese actually in... It's all cooked into the bread itself, okay? So bear that in mind. Now, I'm also going to... I'm going to cut it open and I'm going to put some butter on it now I believe this butter is actually in date but I'm not sure if I can easily find or can be bothered to find the date yeah 19th of Jan so this is actually within date so this is actually butter that's actually within date this is Kerrygold which is one of the better brands I got this just so that we can use it for a uh, mash sometimes I give my mum sausages and mash and I just provide a bit of butter in it um, the difference isn't that much and also I want to make some cakes with it but I just didn't get round to it because I was quite ill and I had to spend about almost a week in bed and I just didn't feel like it to be absolutely honest so I have uh, used it for other things like mash and other things basically um, so What I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut the cheese roll open. Okay. So, normally you'd have it the way around actually, but it doesn't matter. ways to do this it's just difficult to do it on camera so there you go and if you look this is where it's going to go fall to pieces unfortunately because it's on camera and if you look carefully there, you'll see bits of orangey cheese. Which is, as I said, it's built into the bread. Um, now, I'm going to... Get a slice of butter like that. I'm going to put it into here wasn't planned but it's just very awkward trying to do this so that's one piece it's incredibly easy in the kitchen but you know I'm just trying to do it easily here so again I've got another a slice of butter so 
two slices of butter and then just put that back on like so there's also a bit missing here which come out while I was trying to do it so there you go now I have my cheese roll you can buy plain rolls I've also tried earlier um, making or region putting ham and tomato a tomato in it but I'm not going to do that now um, this is pretty much how people eat it normally with a cheese roll people often have it with just buttering or margarine so that's how I'm going to do it and um, I said just to show you the bottom as well and before anything goes wrong I'm just going to that's just so that if anything falls over or anything like that I don't have to worry about butter going everywhere okay um, so now as I say it's falling apart it wouldn't normally so And the shag it's very very savoury and because it's got the cheese in it um I say a plain bread roll on its own you wouldn't normally eat a bread roll on its own normally you normally put things in it but this is just a, just a cheese roll sometimes people have just cheese rolls like this okay with just the butter in and so it's very very savoury um, that means it's slightly sourish, very much like eating a scone in some ways. Um, in many ways, this is like a sort of softer version of a of a cheese scone or something like that in some ways. Um, and the package itself. By the way, I also bought this. Um, it was about to expire, so normally. It would have been normally, and we have been one pound twenty for a pack of four. But it was thirty p because we were about to expire that day, and in the evening, I believe these are actually baked in the supermarket itself. Um, I know you might think, what do I mean? I mean where you buy it. So in the actual supermarket where you buy it, they've got a sort of bakery in the back where they cook them, okay? I don't mean like, you know, the nationwide stores do it and they ship them all over the country. I mean they actually make them, to my knowledge, in the store itself, okay? Where you actually buy it, you know, the exact store, okay? So the would have been fresh-ish, made fresh, okay? Um, not, you know, like, in a packet and you know a normal packet and then shipped all over the country it doesn't work you know like a professional brand or something so i think we might have been made the day before i could be wrong or maybe i made or maybe um you know the day before i got missing day i mean the day before um, um songs or maybe they um, were Reducing them to the time of night when I was there. I can't remember. I don't know, but anyway um, uh, What else is in here? Um, well As I said it consists of red Leicester cheese with some and it says with colour and then Choa nor Bixin, um, whatever that is. Um, and it also says red cheddar cheese, and then we have the colour, and it's just the same name that's Anato nor Bixin, which I've never heard of, but anyway, um, something I've never heard of to be honest. Um, 
They also point out, just in case people got any allergies, but while it shouldn't really contain certain things, it could theoretically done because of the way it's made. So it says, this bakery product may also contain peanuts, nuts, milk, sesame, egg, soya, and other allergens. In other words, they can't guarantee, because of the um, kitchen that's used, it won't be from accidental contamination of certain other products. That's in case some people are allergic to certain things and may die. Over here, they, they have to label things with any, any potential ingredients, even if they shouldn't be in there, even if they don't expect them to be in there, that might be in there because of the way it's cooked or nearby ingredients, etc., just to so that people don't die by accident, you know? And then the loaf of bread itself, and one thing it says, also contains just information about the amount of energy that's in it. So it doesn't tell you anything else about it, like just how much cacao it has. And it says 201 cacao per roll. And it says adults need around 2,000 cacao a day. And that means, in theory, you could survive on 10 of these rolls a day, in theory. Now, I'm saying it's just a roll. I've also added, and Buster, sure don't forget, but which would also increase the cacao. But no. Um, Now, the way I can tell the difference between fresh cooked and store and others is this this generally uses um, just some very basic plain um, paper. Just also have something printed on see through paper and then just put this, one of these sort of stickers over it. And this sticker's very basically done, it's done in black and white with very simple printing, so I can tell this would be printed in the store, most likely. And, um, you know, it's not like multicoloured or anything, so that tells me that this has been done in the store. That's an easy way I can tell, okay? Based just on labels like that, okay? It's not the exotic multicoloured labelling, okay? So, this works out roughly, because of the, I bought this in a bargain, it would normally be 30p a roll for one of these, but um, I got it for just over 7p because it was in a sale, okay? And now this is really boring just talking about one two's role but I don't know if this is available in all countries or if they you know in countries they don't have things like cheese rolls I don't know I'm so those of you don't know um Red Leicester is a famous cheese here. Um, it's sold all over the country. It's generally orange in appearance. I call it red because it's reddish, but it looks more like orange, to be honest. Um, so often when they talk about reddish cheese over here, they really mean it looks orange. Um, it's just the way it is. I'm not confusing to people learning English, but. It is the way it is, okay? Now I've nearly finished the roll now, so...
In fact, it's not me, it's a go on. Oh, it does provide more details here about, you know, how good it is for you regarding energy and carbohydrates and fat and fibre and other things. They are provided here, printed on the see-through plastic packaging, okay? Um, but for some reason, on this they've printed it, they've given you the cake out per roll, and on the actual um, print on the printing on the see through packaging. It actually um, mentions it per 100 grams. So, so so working out the maths on this, it earns one roll is a bit less than 100 grams. It appears. Okay, maybe not by much. Maybe then. I'm guessing because I haven't worked it out properly. Probably 80 or 90, 90 something probably. I'm guessing I have to work it out in my head. And I don't feel like it at the moment. Yes, I used to be very good at maths, but um, even though I'm not going to try and work out what you know. Wait a minute, 52 difference, so that's... 52 difference, so... It's about... Yeah, 50 difference, so... 50 difference per roll... So... Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. good. So... Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 equals one then we've got two hundred two hundred so we've got R plus they've got fifty one Yeah, I'd have to work it all out, to be honest, and I'm too lazy. So, nine times. Anyway, I've finished the roll now, so, um, So it's two and a half kcal per hundred grams. So two and a half kcal per gram. So if we say it's two and a half, two and a half would be four. Mm. So eighty. Eighty times eight. Yeah, so it's just over eighty grams, I, be I believe. So each roll, having worked out in my head, is probably just over eighty grams because um, if we say it's two and a half kcal per hundred 
per gram then that's um, 2 grams is two grams would be five K cal so four fives are twenty forty times five is two hundred I'm not gonna worry about the one on the end that's not worth bothering about so it's forty but that was for two grams so forty times two grams eighty grams is just over minutely over um, 80 grams per roll that's just working out purely by the maths and by the kcal and that's without a calculator guys okay anyway thanks for watching bye